<laughs> Next, he says, Senior Minister Yaosafo Mafo. Now he comes to him. He says, The senior minister also engaged in something that was horrible. In October 2019, one Mr. Seth Mante, a journalist working with PCFM, was apprehended because of unlawful excavator sales. Hey, a journalist working with PCFM was selling excavator. Okay. In the course of the investigations, Mr. Mante confessed that he was contracted by John Oforiata, then National Security Coordinator for the Central Region, and Mr. Koewuzi, to use his bank account at the National Investment Bank for what effectively was money laundering. Okay. Now, the other thing is, money laundering is a, it's an offense. And the court has a way of coming to the conclusion that there has been money laundering. I think Professor Pomboate doesn't get it that he, Professor Pomboate, or me, or anybody, Commission of Enquiry, cannot conclude on money laundering. Money laundering is a, an offense. It has ingredients. And there's a process by which you come to that conclusion. The process to come to a conclusion is determined by the legal process. The legal procedure is determined already by it. The process to come to a conclusion. Coming to the conclusion, the ingredients that you need to apply has also already been determined. However, only a court of competent jurisdiction can apply that process and come to the conclusion that, yes, there has been money laundering. Professor Fimbo Boate is not clothed with the authority to come to that conclusion. These are things that our public officers must understand, you see. You cannot come to the conclusion that it is money laundering. No. You cannot come to the conclusion that it is murder. No. You cannot come to the conclusion that it is manslaughter. No. You can allege it and point to it. Only a court of competent jurisdiction can make a conclusive statement that based on the evidence before us, this is murder. Frimpo Boateng cannot speak on money laundering. Has he, has he told us how he comes to it? That's why you see the judges, eh? When they come to a conclusion, they walk you through how they came to it. You remember the Anas judge, the one who judged and said that Anas was not doing a good job. He, he, he dealt with it and shows you the procedure he applied. He shows you the law he applied. He shows you the ingredients of the offense stated in the Criminal Offenses Act. And then he comes to the conclusion that this is money laundering. But you cannot just say that Ekwewuzi use bank accounts to do Oforiata and Mante and Osafo Mafo and it is effectively money laundering. You can't say that, Prof. This one to take it out. All right. Effectively, he says, the proceeds from the excavator sales were lodged in Seth Mante's bank account. The money's lodge were later cashed and given to Mr. John Oforiata, who in turn gave some of the money to Ekwewuzi. Seth Mante's handwritten statement to the, pol to the police is seen on page 27 and 28. Okay. The senior minister sent someone to me for a copy of Seth Mante's statement as well as a copy of the bank transactions as recorded in Seth Mante's bank statement from the National Investment Bank. After going through the documents, the senior minister is reported to have remarked that Ekweuzi is his boy and will not do such a thing. However, if there was a bad person, it will be Prof. Fimpon Boati. But where did he hear this? Where did, where did Prof. Fimpon Boati hear this? Where did he hear this from? He seems to have been a, a fly or a mosquito on the wall of Osafu Mafu's office or something like that. Because he's telling us something that happened when he wasn't there. I mean, you cannot write a report like that, Ghana. Are we getting it? You can't write a report and say things that happened when you were not there. It's, it's, it's baseless. You cannot do that. You shouldn't, Prof. We beg you. You are our father. We respect you, Pa. You shouldn't do that. You can't write. It. Listen, listen. Viewers, you listen. The senior minister of someone sent me, sent, senior minister sent someone to me, correct, for a copy of Seth Mante's statement, as, a copy, uh, uh, as well as a copy of the bank transaction as recorded in Seth Mante's bank statement from the National Investment Bank. You can say that because it is true that Osama will send someone to you. Okay. Now here, he says, after going through the documents, the senior minister is reported to have remarked that Ekweuzi is his boy and will not do such a thing. However, if there was a bad person, it's from Pong what, what is this? It's reported to have been reported by who is gossip. You can a professor, you can't write that in a report. This is a proper serious report. You can't write these things inside. Osafu Mafu, you were not there when Osafu Mafu told somebody that Ekweuzi is his boy and that if somebody is bad, it is you from Pong You write it in an official report to the chief of staff. <laughs> okay, this one to take it out. All right. The senior minister then encouraged his emissary and his friends to organize themselves, gang up, and fight Frimpo Mboatin. The emissary swore to me that what he told me was true 
his love for the MPP and his devotion to duty as a government appointee gave him, gave me reason to believe that he was not lying to me. Okay. Eastern region, uh, Eastern region, he says, we are all aware of the pollution of the river brim in the Eastern region. The Eastern region is the most difficult area to control illegal mining activity. It appears the miners are determined to embarrass the president and Osage for the Ochihini, a well-known potent environmentalist. Hey. Okay. The MPP National Women's Organizer has been a miner for over 30 years. So also the Eastern Regional Chairman of the MPP. I am not by this statement attributing any illegal activity to these individuals, but it is a fact that they are unable to rein in the hundreds of party officials and members who degrade the land and pollute their water bodies. About two years ago, the attention of the IMCIM's tax force was drawn to a site that had been degraded and the tailings from there were directed in the, were directed in the Brim River near Enginem. The tax force impounded two excavators and deposited them at the police station in Enginem. Frantic telephone calls were made, were received from Captain Koda of the Presidential Security Detail who asked for the excavators to be released. Wow. He informed the tax force that the owner of the concession, the Honorable George Kwame Abuaji, the MP for Asini Akroso Manso, is his brother. The impunity in the Eastern region is exemplified by near unbelievable activity in Chibi. I had, I had a telephone call from Mr. Eric Entry of the Office of the President, and he narrated that the youth organizer of the NPP in Chibi was excavating for gold in a field close to the house of H.E., the President of the Republic. <laughs> in Chibi, I mean. Okay. When we checked, it was true. Indeed, part of the garden of the President had been affected. Apparently, the President did not know about this. We quickly dispatched a bulldozer and an excavator to the area to reclaim the land and, and uh, vegetate it. Vegetate it. Okay. I need not say that nothing happened to the local youth organizer who caused the damage. All right. Okay. So I think we are done on Rainbow Party. So we will.